Hey guys, today we are going to discuss this problem. So it's also a 1800 problem. And we are going to start with the examples here. So the first number here is the number of numbers in the following array. So we are going to have three numbers in the array. And uh, uh, we are going to have a have the greatest the common divisor for these three numbers. So in this case, it's one. And uh, we are going to remove some of the numbers from the array in order to make the uh, greatest the common divisor for the rest of the numbers to be larger than the the greatest the common divisor for the uh, for all of the numbers, right? So the GCD for all of the numbers is one, and if we remove the first number from the array, then the GCD for the uh, rest of the number two four uh, is two. So two is bigger than one. So in this case, we only need to remove one of the number from the array, right? Let's uh, take a look at the second example here. So we are going to have four numbers in this array and the GCD for these four numbers is three, right? And uh, if we remove six and a nine from this array, then the rest of the array's GCD is 15, right? And the 15 is bigger than three. So the, we only need to remove two numbers from this array in order to increase the GCD, right? So can we just uh, remove one of the number and uh, increase the GCD? Let's try it. If we remove six here, the greatest uh, common divisor for rest of the array is still three, right? And uh, if we remove nine here, the GCD for this three number is still three, right? We can try uh, the try to remove the rest of the two numbers. We can find out that. Uh, the GCD is always three. So removing just uh, one number is not enough. In this case, we have to remove two numbers. So in the last case, no matter which number we remove or how many number we remove, the GCD will always be one. So in this case, we cannot find the number of four numbers we want to remove. So the output is minus one here. So how do we solve this problem? So we are first, we are going to calculate the GCD for all of these numbers. And we are going to divide all of the, these numbers by that GCD, right? So let's take this, the second test as an example. So the GCD for this four number is three. So first we're going to divide three for these four numbers. So the result array is two, three, five, and 10, right? And uh, we are going to uh, choose a number from this array to remove, right? And which numbers are we going to remove? So first, let's say if there is a one in this array, right? We clearly want to remove that one because we want the, the goal for us is to remove some of the numbers from this array so that uh, the rest of the numbers, a GCD is bigger than one, right? 
let's say uh, these two numbers GCD is five is bigger than one. So that we can just uh, keep these two and uh, remove these two. So two will be our answer here, right? So if we kept uh, a one in the array, in that case, the GCD for this array will always be one and the one is equal to one. So this will never satisfy our uh, condition, right? So in this case, we, we surely remove all, all of those ones, right? So with that being said, which numbers are we going to choose to remove? So as we can see, we can just uh, uh, divide all these numbers into their factors, right? So for this guy, uh, it's a prime number, so it's two. For this guy, uh, only one prime number is his uh, factor, so it's three. For this guy, it's two multiplied by five, right? For this guy, it's five. So as we can see, five appears in two of these numbers, right? So that, that means we can keep two numbers and uh, these two numbers common factor is bigger than one because five appears in these two numbers. So uh, we can choose five as a GCD and we can make sure that uh, five is bigger than one so that uh, we can know that if we, ca uh, if we kept uh, these two numbers, we will satisfy the problem's uh, condition, right? So uh, we can have this problem translated into how can we find a factor that appear in the mo most of the numbers, right? Let's say if a factor appears in three of the numbers, we can just uh, keep th those three numbers and uh, find the GCD as the uh, factor here, right? So how can we find that factor? So the easy way is to just uh, break all these numbers into factors, right? So here we break them into the factors and we can count each factor, how many times they appear in the different uh, numbers, right? So we can find the uh, most uh, appearance, right? The number has the most appearance, we can choose that number, right? In this case, five, appears in two of the numbers. So we can choose five. And the answer is, uh, is the number of numbers, four minus two, the two numbers that uh, uh, has five as a factor, right? So let's take a look at the code here. This is our code. And uh, this part is where we calculate all primes, right? So all we need is this array. So this array keeps all of those prime numbers. Uh, it will be like this. Two, three, five, seven, 11, et cetera, right? They're all prime numbers. And uh, G here is the uh, common divisor for all of those numbers, right? And uh, remain count here is, let's just uh, keep a counter of those numbers that uh, are divided by G and uh, with a result not equal to one, right? 
So uh, for each of those numbers, we are going to divide it by the common divisor first. And uh, if it is uh, equal to one, we decrease the remain count by one, right? And if it is not equal to one, we are going to find all of its factors, right? So uh, for 10, it has two different uh, factors. One is two, one is five. So for the, uh, let's take another example, 24, it uh, has two, three, uh, is that all? Yeah, that's all. It has two factors, two and three, right? So this guy has all of the factors for a number. And uh, what are we going to do with these factors? Uh, we are going to iterate through all of the items. Uh, we are going to iterate through all of the factors and uh, increase the uh, increase the factors counter by one, right? That means this factor appears in one of the numbers. And in the end, we are going to choose the uh, one factor that has most of the counts, right? So uh, we are going to iterate through all of the counters of factors and choose the choose the biggest uh, counter, and uh, because we the re, uh, the number we are using is uh, remain count, so uh, we are going to choose the minimal of this value, right? That is the equivalent of choosing the maximal of the counter, right? And we are going to output the answer here. So I guess that's, uh, that's it. Hope it can help you to resolve this problem. So see you next time.